Not too long ago, we added a new class of Bloom City 6 called the Economist, where we made more money with every single pop and tower, but we had less damage, less pierce, and we moved even slower. It was intense. But today, thanks to Commander Cat over in the modding community, we have a brand new class called Ethereal. 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 I'm going to say Ethereal. That's how I would say it. And the pros of this one are all towers can see through walls, camel balloons are visible by all monkeys, and all towers get a small buff in attack range. Meaning that we can just attack from anywhere almost. But we have a huge con with this brand new class that I think is going to add a lot of fun to this. Life loss from all sources are doubled and losing lives makes all towers lose 5% attack speed. Now a good map to test something like this out since we can now see through walls would be something like Hedge. Or another brick because that's just a giant wall, right? But I think we can make this even more difficult for ourselves and we can play it on a very cool and exciting map known as Sunken Columns. On hard mode, but not only on hard mode i'm talking with no monkey knowledge so we are guaranteed to lose lives and definitely get that speed nerf and get us wrecked pretty early on now the question is what towers do we use now that we can place anywhere that'll help us out a little bit later but for the beginning i still feel like we need to place our darts in these strategic spots and maybe like a sniper in some random corner like that now we are gonna probably lose a lot of lives at the beginning going with this with no monkey knowledge is probably pretty scary and here we go we're gonna lose some lives right now and see what that does now we lose our speed is that what that's saying so is that for all towers that are on the map currently or all towers that are placed inevitably just every single tower just gets this huge nerf and i don't think we can continue like this we need to upgrade something because we are moving very slow <laughs> I was going to go try to go for Ben, but I don't think we can do it. We need to put something else down here. Dude, you don't even think about what no monkey knowledge does until you don't have it. It's something you just do not forget. We just lost that easily. Okay, to double check, every life counts as two lives lost or doubling whatever we lose. And we lose 5% attack speed every time we lose a life. <laughs> I didn't think so in the beginning, but this might be one of the hardest challenges I've ever even tried. This is kind of crazy. I guess we'll start with the Buccaneer just because he has that great shot projection right there. But we need like grapes right away and we're not going to get them because all we're going to do is lose lives. This is so weird without monkey knowledge. I'm so used to just everything shredding through. Because watch, this is going to be now two lives, right? 90 and then... Oh my god, 88 already. Should we sacrifice for up to a grape shot? I think we should, but that blue those blues are so bad oh my goodness we might not be able to even make it to grape shot this is the hardest start i've seen in a while okay i have dart on strong to boomer and i'm hoping the boomer can knock through this stuff i kind of want improved rings but i don't want to get them i'm hoping he can just do it naturally but i don't think he can so we're gonna just take that one just like that don't lose any lives here get those those blues okay we didn't lose that many lives we're good that's that's a solid run right there 14 lives so it's seven balloons lost and we'll just get faster throwing maybe the boomer is gonna be our like handler right now then maybe we could sell for like a grape shot boat but so far so good but since our boomer is so good i think we're gonna grab a sniper here and put him on strong just a basic solo sniper and then he'll help pop out those like crazy greens or yellows that come after us and then maybe we should go straight for upgrading our boomer here i really want a boat i feel like he's gonna be very very crucial to something like this okay so i got upgraded speed and that's definitely helping and then i think glives will help as well so now this guy is just rocking through but remember with monkey knowledge he shoots two of those or it goes around a second time which is very 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 helpful so i'm wondering if we can even and make it past this round 10 right here dude he's so good boomer's so good thank you boomer only oh, note i just realized all towers see camo so we don't even have to worry about camo that's actually going to be very 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 helpful because that means i can go with the top and the middle path boat which is just going to be great for business right now we just need 595 for grape shot and then i think we should be able to go for benjamin without dying the 15 is going to be completely wreckage but i think we should be okay but a pink is what like four lives so we're going to lose eight lives per pink lost but i don't care because we have grape shot now Okay, okay, are we getting it? Are we getting it? Yes, this is actually a really good team so far. It's the fact that they can see through those walls because this boat would not work on this map ever. Yeah, just to double check. Yeah, this would thing would be completely blocked if it wasn't for the new ethereal class. And now we don't have to worry about camo. This is good news. I really want Ben, but we're going to sacrifice lives. I feel like, no, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die. You got this, you got this. Just get Benjamin. I don't care. We're going to sacrifice. Now, everything's going to move slower too, right? So that could have been a really bad play, but I think we'll be okay. We're down to 50. Oh, no, no, no. This actually wasn't a good play. Wasn't a good play. Dude, don't, don't die, don't die. Do I not have a Ben ability? Oh, we don't have monkey knowledge. I'm so not used to that. You know, I like to risk it for these biscuits. So this time I've decided to not upgrade this one at $300. I've saved $300 and I saved $380 for a sniper, $680. And we're going to go straight for the boat because I think he's our big power player. And this guy just kind of cleans up. And then I read the in instructions. I was saying ingredients for the glides says throw sharper and faster glides instead of boomerangs. Well, it doesn't seem like it's that game breaking, right? So I think we're just going to go with our grape shot because that thing like literally adds a spray of five sharpened grapes to the ship, which is great. Sharpened grapes? What are sharpened grapes? Sound like rotten grapes, but we got the 
the grape shots there, which is all we needed. And then I think we're going to get faster shooting and then double shot. And then we should be, oh, wow. Okay. And we're down to 90 lives. So we have a little bit more than we did before. Okay. It's really not what I thought it would be. Oh no. Does everybody get slower? I hope everybody doesn't get slower because then we're in a really bad spot. I don't know what to get for the very end though. I'm thinking a sniper will be good. I do want to get my bin, but I'm thinking what if we did no farms, like no farms at all? Would that be a great test of feet here? Pretty much what that would be. It would be sunken column chimps with extra lives to be lost. But what is it past like round 25 or 40 or whatever it is. If you lose any lives, you just lose because there's too many to come out at you. Oh, I want to go for bin, but I don't want to test it again. Oh my gosh. Can we survive this round with Ben? I, I'm going to do it. We got to do it. We got to live life by the wild side edge, whatever they say. Dude, that was probably a bad idea, though. Oh, my God. Don't die again, loser. Don't be a loser, loser. Oh, my God. I didn't even greed this time, and I still can't manage to not die. This is getting kind of crazy. I have a sniper this time. I thought I would go with that and then thought this guy would be a good cleanup, but he's really not a good cleanup at all. So I think we're going to have to still not. <laughs> now everybody's slower, which makes this even more difficult. But if I feel like if we put like a, a attack right here, right? I know it sounds crazy, but if we go with this one, because this reminds me of kind of like battles too, right? Because that's where this map's from, I believe. And so this is a strategy that you'd use is blade shooter on this map. And then you'd get this cool little blade shooters. But now we need something to like worry about later, like the Moabs and our Benjamin eventually. And now since I've placed this, I haven't even used it. I could have had my Benjamin already making us money. Now watch, watch us. Now I'll lose. Now I'll lose. Oh my gosh. He's not even hurting him. He's just bad. He's just missing. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Oh, finally the risk paid off. I just went with attack sprayer only on round 15. Hopefully we don't lose too many lives. I think we're going to lose a couple here. Maybe not. Oh my gosh. He did them all. Attack sprayer for the win. And now we have our Benjamin early around 15. That's what I'm talking about. Risk it for the biscuit, guys. May take longer. It's taken 30 minutes to get to this point, but we've made it. So I'm still losing a good chunk of lives, though. I think we need to change this up a little bit. I think this will be a great tower, actually. Advanced Intel. Why didn't I think about that sooner? Because now he can see everywhere. Before, he was just completely useless on this track, and now he's not. Okay, okay. There we go. Twin guns. There we go. If we just get airburst, I think we're in a good spot here. We don't have any lead popping, though, but that might be an issue. There we go. We got airburst. I think we're in the home stretch. We just need something for lead. I think the best for that would still be a sniper though, right? Because he can just hit across the entire track. Advanced Intel makes this too easy, doesn't it? But what I want here, I think this will be a great tower. If we can get all the way up to the top path boomer, we could shred through every single thing on this map. I don't know if it's even possible because we're not going to be using farms. But if we can do it before round 63, imagine this guy will just sit there and shred through everything. But I'm a little concerned about what we're going to do about the Moab. So I'm thinking like before round 39 is over, let's do this because then that can clean up anything that comes after us. But we might have Trojan. Oh, we do have Trojan. Okay, so all we have to do is pop it open. We don't have to worry about the insides, which is really cool. Can we take it down as it is? Probably not. Maybe. Oh, dude, this dude, this thing's too overpowered. Let's be real. This is a straight risk right here, but I love it. I love it. We're just going to try to go for it. Can we? Okay, we don't even have to use our mouse shop. I'm trying to go for this 34,990 without buying anything else before then. I don't even know if that's even possible because we're barely making any money. It's pretty much chimps mode with a Benjamin, right? So we have an extra $7,000 that we wouldn't have had before and we get our lives back back, which is nice. But at this point, I feel like if we lose any lives, we're just done for, right? So I feel like we have all the pluses of this class without the minuses, maybe. Oh no, I think it's getting too close to us. It's getting too close to us. No, 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 no. Can we take this thing out? Am I going to have to mouse from this? I'm going to have to mouse from it. Oh my gosh. Hopefully it comes back in time. But everyone can see camo, so that's good. We don't have to buy any camo upgrades. We're almost there. I think we could do this. Oh no. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Get that last one. Get that last one. Trojan it. Come on. No. No, no, <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> That was the closest I've been ever. Okay, let's risk it a little bit more here. Let's do this one. No, he's not. He's not big enough. He's not big enough. <laughs> we just can't do this. We can't do this. Okay, get it. Get it. Get it. Can he get them all? No, he can't get the Moab. He can't get the Moab. You know what? I just wanted to make it with what we got, but we had to buy a boat. We'll get there soon enough, guys. We just got to get there before 63. That's the only big problem here. Can we get through with what we have now? Can the boat do enough damage? I don't even know. Oh, yeah, he did. He did. He did. And then the Maelstrom. Yes. But now we need for $8,000, $8,990 to be exact. I love that the only thing saving us is the Trojan though, because this is a little scary. If he Trojans it, he won't though. He's not Trojaning it. Oh my gosh. We have to just completely rely on that. Get the Trojan. There we go. There we go. All right, guys. I don't know about this anymore. This is getting a little out of hand. This is getting a little out of hand. I think we should do this and get the boat. Oh my gosh. No. Boat. Boop. No, no, no. Don't. Where's the button? Where's the button when you need it? Where is the button? 
<laughs> okay, we did it. I think we're in the clear now. Oh my god, this with no monkey knowledge is not fun. As we expected, though, this thing's a boss. So I think what we're going to do is make it even stronger. Now it has primary training. It should be able to take on most of this game. Now, honestly, though, I'm thinking about it now. I think it's probably a pretty bad idea to put him up there, right? We should have put him at the bottom as cleanup. And now all we have is a Maelstrom. Like, what are we going to do about DDTs and stuff? Can he take down this? Okay, he can. You know what tower I think would be pretty awesome, too, since we can now see through walls? I'm going to, I'm trying to utilize that as best as possible. I think a Pirate Lord is going to be pretty cool. He's relatively cheap. We can pull DDTs and then he can just shoot on this side. So he'll take down this side and then he'll clean up everything. And so far, we've, I'm going to say only, we've made made $16,000, which is good. That's better because we're going to try to run this all the way to 100. So it's pretty much chimps mode, right? With 16,000 extra monies. Now I can just pull the ZOMG down, but I want to make sure we can actually do it with what we've got here. Otherwise, it's going to be a very hard next few rounds. I mean, that was okay. It wasn't the best. I don't know if we're going to be able to take like 83 or 85 and we got multiples of those, but then of course we can pull them. If this will reach, I think we'll be in a good spot. Oh, it does reach. Awesome. Now I'm guessing for this one, I can pull one of them and it will fight the other. I probably should have pulled the other one though, huh? Because it's going to not be the best one, but we could do it. We can do it. Okay. The sniper actually came in clutch right there. Now, what are we going to do about the nineties though? We have $42,000 and yes, I'm saving up money. You're going to be like, why are you saving up so much money? Because I want to know what we can work with here. If I can get 60, 70, you know, we could change what we're going to go for. Even a mad would be pretty awesome because then we can just have everything be destroyed in the beginning. This is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Really bad. Oh, no, 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 no. We we'll have to mouse on this one for sure. Is it going to be enough though? Oh my God, that's as good as the Maelstrom is. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> what about something like Bomb Blitz at the end? Would that be kind of cool? Because then if we accidentally lost a life, it would clean it up for us. I can say I've never actually gone for that. I'm going to do it. We'll pull these things down. We'll grab our little Bomb Blitz. See if he can help us out a little bit. See what you can do, buddy. Dude, you can't. You can't even do it. Who knew that tower was so bad? I can't believe I just paid money for that thing. I feel like any other tower would be better than that. This is cheap and will work. I like that one a lot because he can just shoot everything down. And we can even primary training him too. And we can use our ability here. No, oh my God, they're all so bad. Everybody's so bad. I'm just trying not to use the normals that we normally use. Like obviously I could put an icicle and pale down and we'll be okay. But I'm just trying to change things up. All right, let's see if super glue can do it. Of course it can. It's 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 a stall tower. Stall towers are always good. I just think that's cheating though. We're cheating. Let's see what we do to some DDTs here though. That's the question. Can we take them out? Okay, we can because our boat is awesome. We have 200,000 pops on the boat, 480 on him. This is the nerve wracking stuff here. Can we clean it all up? Okay, well, we are going to have some DDTs on this one so I can pull them. I think there's only three, right? So I'll just pull some of them actually. We'll pull some of them. That's good. Oh, no, no. One ceramic killed us. One ceramic was worth a more, more than 150 lives. I would have never guessed that, which means we're going for this one. That's what we're going to do here. I have to, and we're going to put him on first so he can clean up whatever's left because that's, we're going to have little bits of cleanup here. I think that's going to be it. I can't believe our, not only did our Maelstrom not work, but one ceramic killed us. That was sad. Now here's the true question. Can we take this one? So what I'm going to do just to be safe here is we're going to buy one of these balloon sabotages too, because these are always great towers, regardless of what map you're playing on, what you're doing. And then I have my DDT puller ready as well. So we'll see if it gets too overwhelming. We'll pull a few, we'll slow it down. And then we have our sniper to clean up everything in the front if we need to. Oh, so this is working out really well, actually. That, was, that wasn't bad. I am going to alk buff my, this guy a little bit more so he can be stronger stimulated. Okay, I'm going to pull these ones because these things I hate. They're so difficult to fight. So I think just pulling it down will be great. Here's 98, though. This is going to be wicked. So I'm just going to pull everything I can. We're going to slow it down, too, to keep everybody in this area. And then just in case everything hasn't gone through, I'm going to use my ability. I use it way too slow, though. And then we'll use our Maelstrom if we have to. We do we do have to okay use it use it use it can we take them down can we take them down we can okay that's just the boat pull that's not gonna work so we need something for those ceramics i think in just right here we'll just go with a snowstorm larger radius like that refreeze and then this should cover everything that we're gonna have problems with right we can grab snowstorm if we need to that's pretty awesome pretty epic way of pulling that off we'll go like that we'll use ben's second ability first this time we'll slow everything down once it starts getting overwhelming so like right now, we'll slow it down. We'll freeze it too. Give that little bit of oomph. Pull again. I think we got this. We got those like little bits of money and we didn't even go like a crazy meta strat as the cool kids say. We took it. There we go. We're going to freeze the DDTs hopefully. We might not freeze them though, huh? Because we don't have the right freezy one on. Oh no, no, no. That's just the other one. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Now sell everything here because we don't need anything on that side. We need something that's going to just do a lot of damage. I think this guy's doing pretty well, but we need better. We need better. Um, we'll throw one of these guys right here and we'll, we'll stronger simulate it too. Hopefully there's enough time there. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on. We'll do that. We'll sell it. We'll pull it. 
We'll pull it. We'll slow it. We'll slow it. Are we going to take it? Oh, come on. You got this, guys. You got this. You got this. Use your ability. No way. That was so close. Okay, we can do this a little bit better. And you ask yourself, why am I trying so hard? Because I think it's way more fun when you try it this difficult rather than just making it super easy. Because of course, we can just put this guy down the middle path and call it a day, but I think this is more fun. So now we're doing it double duty on this guy. He's going to get shot up for sure. So as soon as we get in range here, we're going to double duty it. Doom, doom. There we go. Nothing's going to get past our bow. We're going to slow it down so we can pop it there. Hopefully they'll take it down this time because it just wasn't, it was too much for us, right? But now I think we're okay. We did it. We did it. There's round 100. We did it with the Ethereal class, the Ethereal class. I love it. And if you just can't get enough Bloon CD6 content, check out this video where it's over 9,000.